New Huma Aden emails reveal more donors receiving special treatment from Clinton State Department. Judicial Watch today released 448 pages of documents from the U.S. Department of State revealing new incidents of Huma Aden, Deputy Chief of Staff to former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, providing special State Department treatment to major donors to the Clinton Foundation and political campaigns. The heavily redacted documents from Aden's non-government account include an email from Hillary Clinton's brother, Tony Rodham, to Aden revealing that he acted as a go-between for a Clinton Foundation donor, Richard Park. And they reveal Clinton Foundation executive Doug Band instructing Aden to show love to Clinton donor Andrew Liveris. The documents included six Clinton email exchanges not previously turned over to the State Department, bringing the known total to date to at least 439 emails that were not part of the 55,000 pages of emails that Clinton turned over to the State Department, and further contradicting a statement by Clinton that, as far as she knew, all of her government emails had been turned over to the State Department. The documents are in response to a court order from the May 5, 2015, lawsuit filed against the State Department, Judicial Watch, Inc. U.S. Department of State, No. 1 15 CV 00684, 4, all emails of official State Department business received or sent by former Deputy Chief of Staff Huma Aden from January 1, 2009 through February 1, 2013 using a non-state.gov email address. A number of emails show the free flow of information and requests for favors between Clinton's State Department and the Clinton Foundation. In July 2009, in reference to the U.S.-China Strategic and Economic Dialogue, Clinton Global Initiative head Doug Ban told Aden that she needs to show love to Andrew Liveris, the CEO of Dow Chemical. Band also asked for Liveris to be introduced to Hillary, and have her mention both me and WJC. Dow gave between $1 million and $5 million to the Clinton Foundation and Clinton Global Initiative. Band also pushes for Clinton to do a favor for Karl Heinz Kogel, a major Clinton Foundation contributor, who wanted Hillary Clinton to give the honor speech for his media prize to Merkel. The emails reveal that on June 19, 2009, Clinton's brother, Tony Rodham, passed along a letter for Hillary Clinton for Clinton donor Richard Park. Park donated $100,000 to Bill Clinton as far back as 1993 and is listed by the Clinton Foundation as a $100,000 to $250,000 donor. The Washington Examiner reported. In March 2012, Bill Clinton received an invitation to speak at the Ksong Industrial Complex in North Korea and Richard Park's friendship with Tony Rotem earned him a direct line to Hillary Clinton while she served as Secretary of State. In January 2013, the Korean businessman sent Rotem an email and asked him to forward this to your sister. On November 14, 2009, Clinton donor Ben Ringel, who has appeared in numerous prior emails asking for favors, emailed Aben to get help in getting an Iranian woman a visa to come to the United States. He writes, We need to get her clearance even only temporary to be with her granddaughter. Aben forwarded the request to Lauren Gillity, asking her can you help Monday with consular affairs? Gillity replies, Sure. We'll look into it. Ringel donated between $10,000 and $25,000 to the Clinton Foundation. In May, Band, working through Aden, 
attempts to help Canadian concert promoter and foundation donor Michael Cahill with the processing of a visa. Aiden passes the request to Monica Hanley, Clinton's confidential assistant. The emails show that the Clinton Foundation operative band was involved in personnel matters at the Clinton State Department. In a May 2009 email exchange between Band and Aiden, a career post to East Timor for someone is discussed. Aiden explains to Band that Cheryl Mills, Hillary Clinton's then chief of staff, was working on the situation under the radar. In August 2009, Band tells Aiden of someone who wants to be the ambassador to Barbados. Aiden replies, I know. He's emailed a few times. But she wants to give to someone else. The emails also show that Aiden received advice from her mother, Sailor Aiden, a controversial Islamist activist, on whom the Obama administration should appoint as the U.S. envoy to the Organization of Islamic Cooperation. She notes that she has obtained a recommendation from Hussan, NFI and that she'd reached out to Ishanoglu. This is presumably Ikhmadin Tanoglu, a Turkish academic and the former Secretary General of the OIC. Tanoglu famously called on the West to enact anti-Islamic blasphemy laws. On Monday, June 8, Clinton emails her aide Lona Valmaro and Aiden asking to attend a cabinet meeting. I heard on the radio that there is a cabinet MTG the Sam. Is there? Can I go? If not, who are you sending? Val Moro answers, it is actually not a full cabinet meeting today those agencies that received recovery money were invited to attend, participate. We were welcome to send a representative though, not sure if we have anyone going. Other emails found in Aiden's unsecure email account appear to show additional instances of the Clinton State Department's lax approach to protecting national security. On July 4, 2009, U.S. Ambassador to Kenya Jonathan Scott Gratian sent Aiden an email that the State Department has classified in part and redacted because the information deals with foreign governments and national defense or foreign policy. Aiden forwarded Gratian's email to her personal, unsecure email account. In his email, Gratian related his meeting with Libyan President Muammar Gaddafi, saying, I conveyed our appreciation for Libya's role to improve relations between Chad and Sudan and leader al-Qaddafi promised to continue his nation's close collaboration with the United States and and is eager to meet you and President Obama. And Gratian would later be fired for, among other things, using personal email accounts to send government information. A document titled HRC Private Line Block gives the planned whereabouts for President Obama for Thursday, June 4, 2009, attend POTUS foreign policy speech at Cairo University. In another example of lax concern for security, Val Moro forwarded Clinton's detailed daily schedule for July 15, 2009, to officers of the Clinton Foundation, including Doug Band and Justin Cooper. On July 26 Val Moro forwarded Hillary's detailed, sensitive daily schedule to numerous Clinton Foundation officials. Other examples of lax concern for security, on June 11, there is a reference to testing the federal preparedness and response for an international terrorist threat to the United States. Principal level exercise will be a scenario-driven discussion for cabinet secretaries, agency directors and administrators, senior officials in the executive office of the president, or their approved representatives.
A document in Abden's unsecure email account dated May 2009 is titled The Secretary's Phone Call with Chinese Foreign Minister Yang is marked sensitive but unclassified and fully redacted, as is a document titled The Secretary's Phone Call with Russian Foreign Minister Lavrov. I'm not sure how much more evidence of pay for play, classified information mishandling and influence peddling from Clinton's email server one would need to show a serious criminal investigation is required, said Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton. Judicial Watch, Inc., a conservative, nonpartisan educational foundation, promotes transparency, accountability and integrity in government, politics and the law. Through its educational endeavors, Judicial Watch advocates high standards of ethics and morality in our nation's public life and seeks to ensure that political and judicial officials do not abuse the powers entrusted to them by the American people. Judicial Watch fulfills its educational mission through litigation, investigations, and public outreach.